Phew -wee. We got her done, boys. We all right, so check this out guys. Before this video gets started, I do wanna mention that we just got some brand new hoodies on the website. This time we got the black camo and the Dang Sun edition. Of course, you got that awesome logo up front and on the back you got the Dang Sun in two tones. These suckers are super fire and they're pretty dang limited. So if you guys wanna copy one and help support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com. But as of right now, let's get to the video. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we basically knocked out all of our stonework and we even started slapping some paint on this house. We got one side completely painted and the house already looks so much better. I can't wait to get this whole entire thing painted. But as you guys know, we still got a good bit more hardy work to go. In the back end, we only got it halfway complete. And also we got this whole entire side right here, which we actually decided that we're not gonna hold off until we build a garage. We'll just go ahead and splice into it later. And I think we're gonna get started with this side first because it should be pretty simple. Because after all, it is just a square. There's no windows. All we gotta trim around is actually that door, which we're actually gonna replace that door with a nice glass door just just to match the rest of the house. And that's exactly what we're gonna do first things first, is run down the mountain, try to find a door, grab any other supplies that we might need, come back up the mountain and start slapping on some hardy. I'll be it. Okay, 20 minutes, your name? What'd you just order there? Some pho, man. That stuff is just amazing, especially on a cold day because it is pretty chilly today, dude. Dude, it is starting to get super cold. But anyways, we are just moving right along dude, here, dude. We ripped that siding off fairly quickly, man. Yes, sir. Ripped it off super quick. And also we threw some weather wrap up there because the old stuff was actually worn yeah, out, right? it was kind of ripped up. So we went ahead and just threw one sheet up at the top, got it all knocked out. We are basically ready for some hardy board and some trim. But before we do that, we actually picked up a brand new door at, uh, at our local junior's building material here and of course we had to go with the door to match the rest of the house all glass the same door that we have for our rear deck yes sir and let's show them the best feature of this door dude, I, I mean, love dude, this we had to go with that dude. that's the only way you can do it right there dude Heck it's legit yeah. and that's like a 350 dollars door right there and then we did buy some other supplies yeah, right we bought a, a blade for our skill saw it's actually made for hardy board because the blade we were using is made for wood and it makes a lot of dust so this one should prevent the dust a yeah, little bit. it reduces the dust and also we got a respirator for the guy that's gonna be cutting he's gonna yep. be rocking one of those suckers but yeah. before we do anything we got to replace this door let's just go ahead and show them the door that's on here right now this is your normal steel door right here almost looks like a door you'll have on a shop or something like that and we're not just replacing this door because we want to we're replacing it because somebody actually kicked this sucker in can you tell dude that thing look, just got ripped look up. at that footprint dude Th that was me just trying to give it a shot right there it is boarded up in the back so we're gonna have to unboard it and replace the sucker i actually we never replaced the actual door before did we have we? What i mean the upstairs one we didn't do that the framers did that dude, so we should have did that dude i think it should be pretty Pretty simple all you got to do is grab a chain and that skid steer there and Pull yank it out, it out dude. probably yank out half of this wall with it or something like that most likely but anyways i think uh we're gonna go ahead and unboard it from that side and it should be pretty straightforward yep, right unboard it and try to install our brand new door
my board, but you know what? I wanted this to be as sealed as possible, man. Exactly, yeah. And that's one of the things that the inspector that just passed our last inspection dude, told us. Dude, last inspection, we we're super pumped about that, dude. He walked through this whole house and said, we are good for some insulation and sheetrock, man, which is just some awesome, exciting news. And he told us that this house is gonna have to have a pressure test that it's gonna have to pass. So right now we're like, dude, we gotta go ahead and seal this thing up while we can, like especially around doors, windows and all that good stuff i mean we have been using this window and door uh, foam throughout the whole entire process changing windows and doors and stuff like that but other things we got to watch out for like flashing tape make sure it's all flash which we did all the mm -hmm. way around everything which hopefully we passed that dude. dude yes sir but the main thing is the insulation guys that are gonna come in they're gonna actually make sure they're gonna do their i think they're gonna do a test as well yeah i don't know i think uh once that there's some foam falling out. Dude, this door right here is sealed for sure. But yeah, we're going to figure out about the pressure test stuff later. Yeah, I think they like, once your house is complete 100%, they set up like a fan in the door and they shut everything down. They turn that sucker on and see how much pressure it builds up, which is going to be pretty awesome to watch. And hopefully we pass that, but I'm sure we will, dude. I think so too. But anyways, look at this awesome door right here. Let's in so much more lighting. Dude, I it's love amazing, it. dude. I'm glad we went with this door. Now it, it kind of looks like a like a living room. You know, well, that's the main thing. Where This is going to be basically a living space right here. Yep, dude. exactly. Basically a living room. So we are super happy with how it's turning out so far. Heck yeah, right there. I love that. But now... Now, it is time for what? The trim, dude. Let's go ahead and trim this sucker out. That way we can start doing some hardy. Alrighty boys, so check this out. We had to bring out the LEDs because it just got super dark on us. Hey dude. man, that time change, man, it's getting darker a lot faster and I feel like it's getting colder dude. too, man. It is super chilly, super man. Super chilly. How many jackets you got on got there? got two under here. I gotta have, man. Dude, imagine a little bonfire right here. That's dude. what I was about to say. Have like two bonfires going. It would help with some heat and it'll probably light it up a lot more too, man. Give us a little bit more lighting. But the crazy thing is, it's not even that late. It's just super dark. I man. know, right? It's only like six o'clock, which it usually gets dark around nine in the summertime but you know what it's already winter time it's almost thanksgiving which is just insane dude, dude. time is flying this year is almost i'm over. about ready for 2020 to be over with you know dude, what i think I'm everybody's ready for 2020 I'm ready to be for 2021 over. dude but anyways we are moving right along we got everything trimmed out right yeah everything trimmed out the trim around the whole entire house around the door we got the new door in the drip edge and we started with three sheets of hardy board all leveled out man we are ready to rock and roll man and i know you guys seen that little laser beam on that chart Pops all dude, there, that dude. That is legit. You can't see it during the day, but at night it works great, man. <laughs> it is perfect for this dark weather or dark, uh, dark, dark, dark light, man. What do you call it? Dark day? Just darkness. <laughs> <laughs> this darkness, yes, sir. But what do you say? I say we just uh, probably finish up these three rows, add the three rows on the other side, just level everything out, and probably call it a night.
guys, so it is the next day here. We're out here bright and early in the morning. We did get a good bit of work done yesterday, but now it is time to knock out the rest. We knocked her right out. Look at that, man. Everything is nice and straight, level, all the way up to the top, trimmed out. Dude, that just went so smooth, I'll dude. I tell you, man, every time we do something for the very first time on one side, we get, get to the other side, we do it even better, dude. Look at that. Look, we cut out all the little pieces right there. Cut, did a hole saw on that wire. There's a few other wires that we're actually going to have to punch through, but we just... We're, yeah, we just decided, instead of like drilling the holes, we decided to like uh, pull the wires back inside and we'll drill them from the outside. That way it looks a lot cleaner. I mean, we're getting professional. Dude, stuff, good. Right thank here, you, man. Oh my goodness, man. I'm loving the hardy on this side. All we got left is the hardy on the back end over here and that should that should go by pretty quick we left the most technical part last because you know what we wanted to knock out the easy sides this as you can tell has a lot more different like stuff going on that we're gonna have to cut around stuff like that but that's gonna be fun on its own dude but definitely man but dude look how much it changed dude with the hardy and that brand new door just looks super good now man dude i can't wait to actually start painting this side as well and i'm thinking we should actually try some of the darker trim dude yeah our contractor actually came out early this morning and he looked at that white and stuff then he looked at our actual little uh, demo board that we painted multiple colors in and colors and he said to do that uh what is the that dark, mountain shadow the, yep the mountain shadow the original plan yeah he said do the mountain shadow on all the trim in the doors and it'll look really good and dude. heck maybe even uh he said there's paint that you could paint that software right there and even the gutters dude yeah, so we may even just go ahead and spray that all in with mountain shadow and it'll look really good man one thing that we do need to do is actually pressure wash the whole entire house probably before we paint like the soffit and the yeah. gutters and uh i, I just mean the hardy is kind of dirty itself so we're yep. probably gonna have to bring a pressure washer out here and just wash everything like the whole house maybe dude Dude, i wonder if uh the well can actually power that uh the pressure washer which what i'm thinking is if we have that big old like i don't know like a hundred gallon drum plastic drum i say we go ahead and fill that sucker up with water and i believe the pressure washer will pull the water and don't really have to have water pressure hmm. i don't know we'll we'll put it to the test yeah we'll definitely have to put it to the test but so far oh my goodness amazing progress and the house is starting to look better and better oh yeah
think I think this is way better than that white right there, dude. Dude, is this the move right here? Yeah, the I, darker trim? I think it's the move. I mean, look how good it looks around that dark window, dude. That looks super good, dude, man. Dude, I love that. And if we end up painting all that other stuff, the gutters, the, the soffit. soffits and all that stuff, dude, it's going to turn out really good, dude. dude I think it's going to be perfect. Let us know what you guys think. Should we actually paint that trim white or should we paint it this dark mountain shadow like like it belongs in like the Like it main? belongs. I mean, it's, it, it matches kind of the, the stone as well you know that dark color dude that looks super good and uh, the reason why we kind of want to go with this color is because if we do paint this that color we're going to end up painting the soffits which means up front here all that random white that's going on up there in the soffits and in the gutters is going to be all that mountain shadow and it's just going to look really good and we can possibly paint our front door mountain shadow as well all Ooh. that white right there dude that would look sick dude i think that would flow perfectly but you know what the craziest thing is right now what we went from painting cars to houses. I know, man. It's crazy. I mean, they all have, they all have their own little quirks and features and differences and all that stuff, man. This is cool, though. I got to say, modifying cars is awesome, but when you do it to a house, your personal house, it's dude, just like... It's just um, even more awesomer, you know what I mean? It's a whole different ball it's a game, whole different, dude. a whole different type of, you know, style and stuff like that, dude. You have to think a little bit different because we're used to thinking about how to make the car look the best, what paint, what color, and just like what kind of mods we need to do. To it about the house we're new to this you know we're, we're just to trying to go as we go you know what i mean heck yeah but i'm just wondering where the heck are we gonna throw a wing on this thing a spoiler on dude, the porch? I mean, we got we got our deck right there i mean that's <laughs> all you need right there man dude this is awesome yeah definitely a whole different ball game new experience but as of right now what are we gonna do next actually as of right now dude we did get our two last windows and i'd like to at least try to throw one in what do you think dude i say we do it because those windows are actually gonna be super sick so oh, let's yeah. just hop back there let's do it Yes, sir. Dude, that looks good, dude. Dude. Oh, my goodness. That is what I'm talking about. Close that door right quick. We're going to show you guys what we're talking about as far as the glass matching up with it. And I think we're going to paint that door black or we're going to paint it the mountain shadow. I think we're going to paint it probably the mountain shadow. Oh, shadow mountain. Know. Which one is it? Shadow mountain or mountain shadow? Both. <laughs> they, they equal the same thing. But, dude, that actually looks really good, dude. Now it kind of, like, matches that and all that good stuff. Dude, that is legit. That is sharp right there. And also, we got one for that side as well. But the only problem is we got a rail and the porch is kind of in the way here, right? Yep, yeah, the rail actually runs into that window. As you can tell, they actually had to work around that window whenever they did this, which... We may have to pull off this side of the rail or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think dude. we're going to have to modify something right there. I think we're going to actually make this rail cut in right here or at an angle or something like that because you don't want to just have a glass all the way down and you're just looking at straight rails. Yeah, looking at, we'll probably just end up putting like a post here and just turning it 90 degrees and just ending it off like that or yeah, something. Yeah, so yeah, we're definitely going to figure that out. But what we want to do is mainly finish up the, these last two windows. That way we could finish up all the hardy, the trim. And, and the paint and then dude that will mean we're gonna be 100 percent done with the outside once we're done with the outside dude, going in, in, on the inside we're going dude. on the inside we already dude. scheduled an insulation guys sheetrock guys and All those that good they stuff. move pretty quick too oh yeah they do they move quick that's why we got to move even quicker to finish this up that way we can start doing that kind of yes, stuff sir. and we are moving as fast as we possibly can and so far we're making some pretty great progress oh yeah but guys that is pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video we can't wait to move on to big and better things we got some awesome things planned and also let us know what you guys think about the paint colors but with all that being said make sure your post notifications are on 
so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. And don't forget, we just restocked on our black camo hoodies in the Dang Sun edition. These are super fire. You got the Dang Sun and two tones on the back. These are pretty dang limited. So if you want to copy one and help support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.